What's up guys, welcome back to another episode where today we'll be checking out a game called The Lights Went Out. So it's a short horror game narrated by the victim and I believe it's something to do with a car breaking down but other than that I haven't got a clue so let's jump right in and check it out. My name is Oliver. It's not easy to tell this story. Okay so he survives, presumably. I presume he survives. I worked nights at a gas station. Every day I took the same route with my car. Okay. But that night I discovered what hell is. And that's how the lights went out. Is it maybe mental? Mentally to do with, in theory, the lights going out in that sense? Or maybe his car's battery just ran out. I haven't a clue. I stopped on the road to take a pee. I was already late for work. I needed to keep... How far away do you work? Did Why didn't you pee before you left? Or why don't you pee when you get to work? Is it really that desperate of a pee you need? Um. Okay, well, I can't move. Okay, so my keyboard just froze, basically. That, that was the moral of that story. Can I get in? Oh, I've got to go that side. Okay. I did press E. Oh no, my car is failing on me. He has no radio. He must get bored in his car. No wonder he was fixated on the needs of the frickin' P. Right, I don't know if there's a car coming, but we're off. What type of exhaust has he got on this car? It's like a tractor. Working at night is not easy. It seemed like I was always tired. Maybe you should sleep during the day, buddy. I hope I'm on the right side of the road. I presume I'm on the right side. I mean, figuratively, yes, I am on the right side, but you know. I should have taken my car to the mechanic. It had been showing defects for a long time. What kind of defects? Maybe you just need a new battery. But I wasn't used to solving my problem so quickly. I was settled and following a routine. Okay, okay. Routines are good, I like routines. Is that someone overtaking me or is that my engine? That was my engine. Oh dear. Can we maybe just kind of wheel it over there so it's not right bang in the middle of the road? Okay. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. This road is long and inhospitable. Okay, well, I'm guessing we just have to pop the bonnet. Let's have a look. No. No. We're not even going to look under the hood. No. Are we just going to go through a... It's a big moon. I guess we're just going to go down the road then. But like a normal safe person, I'm going to go on the grass and not in the road. I presume this is what I'm doing. He's, he said the road was long. They look like eyes. Don't like that. Then I remember there was a house near here. I see it every day. Okay, where is it? Because I can I see it. I don't see a house. I see no house. Oliver's lying. It's rather dark as well, so I'm kind of trying to see where said house actually is. If we go past it, we go past it, I guess. I was feeling a strange sensation. Something didn't seem right. But we're going the wrong way, maybe? Well, I say wrong way. We, we, we've gone past the house, maybe? I don't know, because I don't know where the freaking house is. I don't know. We're going to carry on. There's the house, maybe. Something. It looks housey like. After walking a little, I saw the house. I decided to go there and ask for help. Okay. Help me, please, people, kindly, whoever lives here. It looked like a normal house, but I didn't see anyone. Well, I mean, why have they got no curtains? But also, maybe they're over in that direction. Why would you be peering through and presumably thinking no one was in? I just think they may be in the kitchen or something. 
I knocked on the door, but no one answered. I decided to go around behind the house. Okay. Um, I, I, I'll go the other way. Why have they got a gate one side and not on the other? Surely they should have a gate both sides. There was an open door. I decided to go in. I really needed help. So you decided to trespass. You clever little sausage. Why are there loads of moths in the house? I mean, I guess they've got the light. Oh, the house is a strange energy and the smell, a horrible smell. Someone's dead. They are no... Oh, God. They've not been here. They've not been alive for a while. I mean, considering all this food's manky, that looks very picturesque. Someone has been here recently, at least, and hasn't bothered to tidy up. Right. Peep. Um, no, I cannot go upstairs. The house really looked abandoned. I needed a phone to call for help. Can you not turn some of these lights on? Uh, there's no phone down here that I can see. I'm guessing it's going to be upstairs. It's a really strange nook. Okay, so little cleaning company bit um no it's not gonna be anything in there. i imagine it's gonna be upstairs yeah okay definitely someone has been here at least recently because the candles are still burning they've not like burnt out the smells unbearable on the second floor there seems to be something rotten probably a body Am I being blind or something? Which door was that? Oh, it's this door. Are you home? Please don't hurt me. I will never forget that scene. Dismember bodies, lots of blood. I need to run away from it. Yes, run. We're not gonna. flashlight or anything because okay it was just flashbacks he's got post-traumatic stress disorder i ran down the stairs but there was someone standing there waiting for me are we not gonna see this okay tell me oliver he wore back clothes in the sense is it that mask that's on your bed so i ran back upstairs again i was very scared i couldn't think straight i decided to hide in a closet Am I going to have to hide in a closet? Or is he just telling us and we can imagine it ourselves? Suddenly I started to hear some footsteps. Okay, they're obviously following you. I was motionless. I could only see through a gap in the closet door. Okay, okay, okay. are they are they naked are they wearing the bodies like have they flayed the bodies and wearing the skin i can't tell no he's wearing all black he said all black he's not wearing skin ignore me <laughs> i mean i'd I'd stay there for a good while, but we're getting out, apparently. I decided to come out of the closet. I need to get away from there as quickly as possible. I'm just running. Through the back door, buddy. Oh, frick me. Yep, you're trapped. The garage door opened, all I thought about was running away. Yes, please, let's run away. Bye bye. Okay, we're running away. I do not see the bad person anywhere. I ran towards my car. I was scared to death. It felt like someone was watching me. Well, it looks like there's loads of freaking eyes, but I think there's just loads of moths. Is that my car down there? Yeah. 
นึ่งหนึ่งหนึ่งตู้ไปตู้ไปเขาไม่ควรจะหันไปหน้าหรือว่าเราหันไปหน้าเราถ้าเกิดว่าเขาทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉันเสียชีวิตไปแล้วเขาก็ทำให้ฉัน That's my, that's my guess. Now I live in the dark, always hiding in the shadows, but I can't give myself up. We're gonna see our face. So I said to myself. So I said to myself. What did you say to yourself, Oliver? So I said to myself. What did you say to yourself? The lights went out. I quite like the title. Obviously, it's to do with his sight. I think that's a very clever title. Okay, guys. So that was the lights went out. A very enjoyable horror game with a lot of build up. I enjoyed how it was told from a narrative perspective, whilst we still saw how the story played out. And I'm pretty certain at the end when he said. So I said this to myself or something along those lines. I misinterpreted that. I thought he was about to say something when I'm pretty certain he had just said it. So that's my bad for being a bit dim on that front. But that aside, really great horror game and I'll certainly be keeping my open more from the developer. So that is it for today guys, but if you enjoyed the video then do let me know by clicking that like button. And if you'd like to see more then don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.